Every AI app today runs on a powerful model, GPT, Claude, Gemini, and more. And all of these models are only getting better. But here's the thing, the UX hasn't evolved alongside them. Most AI apps are still text heavy, with text in and text out. And as a developer, you've probably noticed that there's a user drop off because of it. Text isn't the best way to interact with AI. It's overwhelming, it's unintuitive, and doesn't adapt to the user. But that's where C1 by Thesis comes in. C1 by Thesis is an API middleware that augments LMs to respond with interactive UIs in real time instead of text. When you're building AI apps, UI quickly becomes the bottleneck. Hard-coded components can't adapt to changing model outputs. Every new use case means updating layouts, props, and logic manually. Most developers fall back to plain chat interfaces. Pass the ship, painful to actually use. And when your model starts returning semi-structured data, you still need to glue code to render it. In short, your UI can't keep up with your model. But that's exactly what C1 is built to solve. C1 solves this by acting as the middleware between large language models and front-end. It's a generative UI API that augments large language models to respond into rich interactive interfaces in real time instead of plain text. C1 works with any large language model or MCP server, and it is compatible with UI components like Versal AI SDK, you have Copilot Kit, and AGUI. It adapts seamlessly to any form factor while matching your brand's design system. For example, I sent in a prompt to show me a chart of the top five stocks outperforming the market this year with key trend lines. In this case, with C1, you can see that I got a more intuitive response, which is creating a graph. It has all the different trending market opportunities. But with the regular AI app, I just got a textual prompt outputted. Instead of just plain text, C1 is going to be able to deliver dynamic interfaces that visualizes data, trends, and insights in real time. And it's going to make the AI outputs more actionable and intuitive for users. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Here's another example where C1 lets you create interactive, adaptive, and on-brand shopping agents directly in your app or website with no templates and no lock-in. And you can see how interactive these UI components look. And the best part is you can try the API for free or you can simply try it out within the playground. It takes two steps to integrate C1 with your existing AI app. First, update the backend endpoint to point to thesis. Then add your thesis API key and select a model like GPT-5. Next, install the SDK and update the app's logic to render and display interactive, real-time responses seamlessly using C1. If you'd rather experiment first, you can spin up a test project and it's just one line. You can use the npx create C1 app command to create it and test it out. How C1 works is actually pretty interesting. It starts off by the backend sending model responses through the C1 API. Then C1 parses that data, applies system and UI rules, and emits a JSON-based UI schema, which is streamed to the front end, where the C1 React SDK renders it in real time. The SDK handles streaming updates, error boundaries, state management, and callback wiring, and integrations with custom React components. C1 also supports tool calls, so your model can query APIs, databases, or external connectors and render structured outputs automatically. This is a template that they have readily available, which showcases the generative UI app and how you can implement C1 with it. It is by first starting off by cloning the repository, so make sure you just have Git installed as well as Node.js. And what you can do now do is just simply go ahead and open up your command prompt and then simply paste in this command to clone the repository. Once that is done, you can then head over into the template React app, and that is by simply pasting this in, the CD command, and then you can install all the dependencies for it by typing in the npm install command. Then simply head over to the thesis console and then generate an API key, which you can do for free. After setting your key, you can now test it out using the npm run dev command. So simply go ahead and paste this into your command prompt and it will start up the template app. And there we go. 
this is how easy it is to get started with C1. So in this case, we can experiment with this project over here, where I can simply go ahead and ask it to show me the Q2 revenue by region. And essentially, this app is a sales cobot that was built with Next.js as well as with GPT. But before we get to that, say if you send in this exact same prompt into something like ChatGPT, you're only going to be outputted simple text. And you can see that it's not intuitive. It's not dynamic at all. It's just a paragraph of text, which something users don't actually enjoy. Now, let's say if I send in the exact same prompt into C1, the model is not going to just return paragraphs of text. This is where we're sending in that same query with the C1 powered app. And this is where we're going to see better visualized data. And you can see that it's not just going to output text. There's interactive and dynamic charts like a pie chart. You also have a bar graph, which you can actually interact with. All of these elements are dynamic, which is something that makes C1 super impressive. But let's change that query up even further. We can say to break down this product category and trend over time. And you can see that C1 updates the chart layouts dynamically. There's no manual UI changes, no hard-coded templates. It's all happening in real time, which is the beauty of C1. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. That is the capability of C1 by Thesis. With C1, you can ship rich interactive AI apps 10 times faster and cut front-end maintenance costs by over 80%. That means better experiences with users, higher retention, faster dev cycles. So I highly recommend that you give this a try because they're offering up to 5 million free tokens if you sign up using my link in the description below. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links that I use in today's video in the description below. If you haven't seen my second channel yet, I highly recommend that you do so because I'm posting daily over here with my partners and this is where we're trying to focus a bit more on in-depth AI knowledge. So if you're going to be wanting to learn more of what's happening in the AI space, this is where you can learn a lot by my team. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this. Join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.